Testing for visual acuity. Visual acuity is a clinical measurement of how clearly a person can see and is the fundamental component of any eye examination. The test is conventionally performed at a distance of 6 meters, which is about equal to 20 feet. Visual acuity is recorded as a fraction that shows how well the tested eye can see when compared to a normal eye. The numerator, or the number at the top, refers to the distance at which the tested eye can see the test target. In practice, this will be the same as the testing distance. The denominator, or the number at the bottom, refers to the distance at which a normal healthy eye can see the same test target. This value is indicated on the test chart. Now here is an example. A visual acuity of 6 over 60 means that the tested eye can only see at 6 meters, while the normal eye can see as far as 60 meters. The bigger the number at the bottom, the poorer the visual acuity of the tested eye. Visual acuities of less than 6 over 6 may be due to refractive errors or intrinsic eye disease. And while the former is correctable with eyeglasses, the latter is not. Visual acuity testing should be performed for all individuals with diabetes mellitus at least once a year, as part of the routine screening for diabetic retinopathy. To test visual acuity in a general practice setting, a Snellen type chart is used. There are several variations of this chart using different kinds of optotypes. For example, an E chart is useful for patients who are not familiar with the Roman alphabet. And this is how to do a distant visual acuity test using a Snellen chart. First, position the patient 6 meters from the eye chart in good lighting. If worn, have the patient wear his corrective distant glasses so that you can determine the best corrected visual acuity. Check the visual acuity one eye at a time by having the patient cover one eye while testing the other. He may use the palm but not the fingers as one may see through the gaps in between the fingers and render the results inaccurate. Take care though that the palm does not press into the covered eye as this will blur the vision when the eye is subsequently tested. Alternatively, eye occluders and pinhole masks with the pinhole lifted up can be used instead. Then, have the patient read the smallest row of letters that can be easily read. Encourage the patient to read the next smallest row and take note of the row in which the patient can completely read and the corresponding visual acuity measurement. If the patient can only partially read a line, the number of additional letters that can be read can be noted down. For example, if the patient can read all of the letters on the line 20 over 30, but only two on the line 20 over 25, the visual acuity can be recorded as 20 over 30 plus 2. If visual acuity is less than 6 over 6, perform the pinhole test, and this is done by having the patient look through a pinhole while you check for visual acuity. If there is underlying refractive error, visual acuity should improve with the pinhole test by at least one or two lines. If there is no improvement, refractive error is less likely to be the cause of poor visual acuity. Further examination must be done to look for intrinsic eye disease. In certain cases where the patient cannot be positioned 6 meters from the test chart, the patient can be instead positioned to face a mirror 3 meters away, with the Snellen chart placed behind him and above his head. The patient would read the image of the chart from the mirror and still see it at a distance of 6 meters. For this setup, you will need to use a chart with an optotype that is not sensitive to lateral inversion, which means letters like H, O, T, and V are acceptable, while F, Z, B, and D are not. Any person with diabetes mellitus who has unexplained best corrected vision of less than 6 over 12 is advised to see an ophthalmologist for a comprehensive eye examination. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by the Malaysian Society of Ophthalmology in conjunction with the iPhoto Fundus Photography Service.